this video, I'm going to go over some concentration problems that involve the use of Le Chatelier's principle. Let's say we have an equilibrium, and we're asked to determine how the equilibrium shifts if the following concentration changes are implemented. So if we have an addition of hydrogen iodide gas, how will that shift the position of the equilibrium? Well, if we add more hydrogen iodide gas, it means that we now have an, an excess of it. But the system wants to maintain an equilibrium. So in order to maintain that equilibrium, it will consume that excess hydrogen iodide gas by turning it into the reactant. And in order to make more reactants, the equilibrium must shift the left. Now let's say more iodine gas is added. How will that shift the equilibrium? Well again, if we add more iodine it means that we have an excess of it. And the system wants to maintain an equilibrium. So in order to maintain that equilibrium, the excess must be consumed. And in order to consume it, the equilibrium will turn that iodine into more of the product by reacting it with the hydrogen gas. So therefore, the equilibrium will shift to the right. Now let's say hydrogen gas is removed. If we remove hydrogen gas, the system will try to replace the hydrogen that was lost. So that means that it will take the product and turn it into iodine and hydrogen in order to recover the hydrogen that was lost. So therefore we can say that the equilibrium in this case will shift to the left. Let's look at another problem. Let's say that some carbon dioxide gas is removed. So, again, if we remove a species, the equilibrium will shift in order to replace it. So the carbon dioxide was removed. So carbon monoxide on the product side will be turned into carbon dioxide in order to account for what was lost. So therefore we can say that the equilibrium shifts to the left. But what happens if we add more of a solid species or a liquid species for that matter? Well, solids and liquids, adding or removing solids or liquids, do not have an appreciable effect on, on an equilibrium. If you recall, when we wrote our equilibrium expression, we didn't include solids and reactants in them. And this, is, and this was because solids and liquids do not affect a chemical equilibrium. They will not shift a chemical equilibrium. So with that said, we can say that if we add more solid carbon, the equilibrium doesn't shift. 
However, just as an additional note, in the real world, if we add if we add more carbon, what that actually does is that will decrease the volume and therefore shift the side of the reaction with a fewer number of moles of gas. So in actuality, the left side or the 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 reactant side would be favored. But if you're ever asked a question such as this, um, you can be sure that uh, that they're not looking for an answer like that. So just remember, solids and liquids do not will not shift a chemical equilibrium.